are you ready for the ultimate Android battle? Hey, I'm Olive, your host here at Versus, and today we're going to be doing a smartphone camera comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, the Honor Magic 6 Pro, Xiaomi 14 Ultra, and Vivo X100 Pro. So without further ado, let's start with standard wide mode as that is the mode that people use most frequently. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Hide Me VPN for sponsoring this video and more on them later. It's important to note that Xiaomi 14 Ultra has two separate modes you can shoot in. There's authentic mode and vibrant mode, as well as master and Leica mode for portraits. In our previous video, a lot of you asked why we chose to shoot in vibrant mode. And the main reason is that after experimenting with both modes, we found authentic authentic mode to have much harsher contrast and inaccurate skin tones as well as intense vignetting, while vibrant mode seems to be more similar to what the other devices capture in their regular mode. Although we do feel that photos can still sometimes be a bit too saturated and something in between authentic and vibrant mode would be ideal. For portraits, we have chosen the Leica mode. In this first photo, Honor has done a really great job from having the right amount of exposure and contrast to nice saturation, making the image poppy and eye-catching. Xiaomi and Vivo have also done well when it comes to exposure, but the contrast could be a little higher. The galaxy looks somewhat washed out, and the colors aren't as vibrant as I'd like them to be, which I must say is very unusual for Samsung. The contrast is also a tad too low. Well, I've got to say that the Galaxy has definitely bounced back in this next photo. It has very natural looking results with great color accuracy and good exposure. Vivo's results are also pretty nice with the exposure slightly heightened, but not over the top. It's tricky to choose a favorite between the Honor and Xiaomi because it really depends on what you prefer here. Honor has pretty high brightness, whereas Xiaomi has lower exposure with high shadows specifically around my face. Right off the bat, it's clear that Vivo has delivered the best photo here. It's a really good image, and what would have made it even better is if the contrast had been a tad higher. Honor has also given us a nice photo, however it's a little too warm. As for the Galaxy and Xiaomi, they're both overexposed with the Galaxy shadows being too heightened and Xiaomi's colors being off. Moving on, I'd say that the Honor is looking pretty good here. It's got a nice strong contrast, good exposure, and a warm tone that isn't overpowering. I do also like the image coming from Vivo as it looks very natural and has great color accuracy. However, from my personal preference, the contrast is too low, leaving the photo looking slightly dull. The Galaxy shadows are far too heightened with very low contrast, which gives the image a lackluster feel, and Xiaomi is on a similar page, however its contrast is a tad higher. Now it's time for ultra-wide photos. This mode is really great for capturing more of the scenery in your shots. In this first one, all of the devices have given us a good photo, with Vivo having the highest saturation, but it is the most accurate coloring. Xiaomi is looking a tad too bright, with the contrast and clarity not being high enough, which has lost some details in the buildings. Both the Galaxy and the Honor have done a decent job with sharpness, ensuring all details are captured, but the Honor's colors seem somewhat off. I gotta say I'm leaning towards Vivo here as it has really nice but subtle saturation without going over the top. It also has a nice balance between exposure and contrast. The Galaxy has captured a very natural photo, but I just wish the shadows weren't so strong, specifically on my face, as it does lose some details. Honor's looking nice and bright, but perhaps a little too bright, and it has a warm tone to it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but in this case, it's making me look a little orangey. As for Xiaomi, it's overexposed with low contrast, which loses the photo's punchiness. Moving on to indoor photos, and in this first one, the Galaxy and Vivo have done a better job, specifically with the balanced shadows and controlled contrast. Honor and Xiaomi have also produced good photos, however the contrast and shadows are a little too harsh and the saturation on my face is just a bit too much. In this last photo of this super cute cafe in Berlin, the Galaxy has produced the most accurate results. Although it is the only cool toned image, it's balanced everything out really well. The Honor and Xiaomi also aren't bad and if you generally prefer a warmer tone in your photos, then you're most likely going to choose those as your top picks. Vivo has gone a little too bright with very lifted shadows. The light above has also come out very orangey, which just doesn't look so great. 
it's Olive's favorite time because it's portrait mode. I love portrait mode, you guys. Let's see which one of these has the best edge detection. I've got to say that in our previous comparison that included Xiaomi, y'all were so disappointed in me for constantly stating that Xiaomi's photos just aren't that great. But when it came to our latest camera blind test, Xiaomi only received eight points. Eight points, I couldn't believe it. It's funny how opinions change as soon as the brand name is invisible. Hmm. My choice here is Vivo, and apparently 229 of you agree as Vivo won the blind test. Vivo not only has the best edge detection, but it also has a great natural look. Samsung's results are also really nice, and it came second place in the blind test, but unfortunately it has a slight error with the edge detection. Honor's contrast is quite extreme, with the vibrancy pretty punchy, but I do prefer it to Xiaomi, which has produced an overexposed image with muted colors that looks... Well, extremely dull, and the majority of you agreed and left some, well, pretty passionate comments. In this next image, however, Xiaomi has done a really good job with its edge detection. It seems pretty flawless, and although it's giving that cinematic, straight out of a camera look, it's also overexposed my face and muted the colors to the extreme. I've gotta say that Honor's photo is pretty great. The colors are punchy and it has a nice deep contrast. The edge detection also isn't too shabby. Both the Galaxy and Vivo have slightly failed with the edge detection, specifically on the top of my head, but between the two, I'd say Vivo looks better as its colors are more pleasing. Moving on to portraits indoors, Vivo has nailed this one. The edge detection is perfect and it has a very natural look with good color accuracy. The Galaxy is leaning slightly towards a pinkish hue, but it does look vibrant and it would have been my favorite out of the lot, but unfortunately the edge detection has failed slightly around my head. Honor and Xiaomi have both resulted in overexposed images, with the Honor being more yellow toned and Xiaomi remaining on the cooler side. In this last photo, edge detection wise, every photo has done a really good job with Vivo being my favorite. It's not overly warm or too saturated and it has a good balance of exposure and contrast. I'm sorry to say it, but I do not like what's coming from Xiaomi. The image is overexposed and the colors are so dull. We generally find that the Leica mode gives a slightly more saturated look, but this doesn't seem to be the case here. Honor has got a nice deep contrast, but is making me look very pale, whereas the Galaxy has nicer color tones, but isn't looking so sharp. Let's pause for a moment and briefly talk about safety. A VPN keeps you safe online by turning your information into secret code and hiding your computer's location. This means no one can see what websites you visit or find out where you are. If that sounds like something you'd find useful, then you'll want to hear this next part. HideMe VPN is one of the fastest offshore VPNs with 24-7 support and cross-platform access. Enjoy 10 gigabyte speeds across 2,300 servers globally. You can also navigate the web with a trusted ally, SmartGuard, proactively guarding against malware, tracking, ads, and phishing threats in real time. Plus, they don't store logs, ensuring your actions remain yours. Best part? You can start for free. Click the link in the description to secure your online freedom with HideMe VPN. Simple, secure, and yours. Time to test out some videos and see which one of these performs the best. Video quality is so crucial when choosing which smartphone to go for. In this first video, Xiaomi is actually looking really good. I'm loving the vibrant yet natural look and the exposure is just right. Honor has a slightly higher saturation, but it's also produced a decent video. Unfortunately, Vivo is a little overexposed with low contrast and the Galaxy could use a little more brightness as the video looks a tad dim, but it does look very natural, which I do love. Oh no, I'm not sure what has happened here with Vivo, but it's completely underexposed, which is the exact opposite to what we saw in the previous example. Xiaomi, on the other hand, looks great. Look at that nice even exposure and vibrant yet natural looking colors. The Galaxy has also produced a pretty nice video with colors more muted than Xiaomi, but very realistic looking. I do wish the exposure was a little higher though. Unfortunately, the Honor's white balance is completely off and the entire video looks dark and yellow. Moving on to ultra wide videos. In this first one, I honestly think all of the devices have captured a decent video. Apart from slight exposure and color variations, plus the Vivo having a tighter frame, they all have nice detail and have given us what we asked for. So it's a draw here. Ultra wide indoors, I have to say that the Galaxy has the best results as it's maintained its exposure really well and the colors are looking superb. 
Vivo has also produced a nice video, but it does bother me slightly that its frame isn't as wide, and it's also giving off quite a reddish look, especially noticeable in my skin tone. Xiaomi has done okay here, but the exposure levels keep shifting, and the overall video has an overly warm look. As for the Honor, it's definitely got the worst results, as the video has an underlying green hue and generally feels lackluster. It's our all-time favorite part of the video, and that is stabilization. Let's see how each one of these stabilizes video, and that means we gotta go for a run. With regular stabilization, it seems that Xiaomi, although not perfect, has the smoothest outcome. Honor has also done a decent job, but the Galaxy and Vivo are definitely struggling. They both have consistent flickering on the tall building in the back. There's also a fair amount of general distortion. Next, we switch the settings to active stabilization. Apart from on the Honor, which doesn't seem to have this option, but its electronic stabilization is always on. Again, Xiaomi is looking pretty good with smooth results. The Galaxy has has also stepped up its game and steadied the shot, giving us a pleasant outcome. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be much improvement in Vivo, and Honor has done okay, but considering it doesn't have boosted stabilization, it's done relatively well. The sun has finally come out in Berlin, which means that our selfies are about to level up. Let's see which one of these has the best front camera, and whilst I'm at it, I'm also gonna check out front camera video and audio. This one's a tricky one as I really like the image coming from Honor, but the uneven balance between darks and lights is making it look a little unnatural. The Galaxy, on the other hand, has come out looking very sharp with great texture. Although the contrast could be higher, I do think it's a decent photo. Xiaomi and Vivo have almost identical results, with Vivo having better color accuracy. In this next selfie, the high contrast coming from Honor is actually working this time, as it makes the photo pop. I find that all the others look super similar with only tiny color variations, so it'll need to be a draw between them all. Front camera in low light conditions is never easy. All of the devices apart from Vivo have come out blurry, but I do really like the high contrast on the Honor. So if it had just come out sharp, it would have been a winner. The Galaxy is looking a little pinkish, while Xiaomi has a yellow tint to it, which isn't my favorite. Moving on to front camera video, it's going to have to be the Galaxy here, as it's looking sharp and detailed even when I'm further they're away from the camera. I also think Honor is doing a decent job, however, it becomes super yellow looking when I get closer to the camera, which isn't ideal. It seems that Vivo is quite blurry, especially when I'm standing further away from the camera, which is quite disappointing actually. I'm not sure why Xiaomi is so overexposed, but it seems to also do that in the majority of its photos, well, at least when in vibrant mode, so it wasn't a massive surprise. So starting with the audio coming from the Galaxy S24 Ultra, how is it sounding? Moving on to the Honor Magic 6 Pro, how is the built-in microphone sounding over here? Then we have the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, how's the built-in audio sounding on this bad boy? And finally, we have the Vivo X100 Pro, how is the built-in audio on here? All right, I've got to say that judging the audio wasn't that easy. I had to listen quite a few times as I'll be honest, all of the devices sound pretty decent. I'm very impressed with Xiaomi's noise cancellation abilities as the audio sounds really great. The Galaxy and the Honor also sound super smooth and are doing a good job ensuring that my voice is being heard clearly. Vivo also wasn't terrible, but out of the four, I'd say its noise cancellation abilities are the least effective. Time for some slow motion. This one always makes me dizzy, but let's see how the slow-mo performs on each one of these bad boys. First, we tested each phone at the lowest frame rate possible, which is 120 frames per second on all of the devices, with the highest resolution possible, which is 1080p for Honor and Vivo, and 4K for Samsung and Xiaomi. Keep in mind that to enable 4K 120 on Xiaomi, you need to be in pro video mode, as it's not accessible in slow motion mode, which we personally find strange and wonder why Xiaomi has made it like this, as it's easy to miss. Naturally, Samsung and Xiaomi look better due to their 4K abilities, but Vivo also isn't looking too bad. Don't mind the slight wobble on all of the videos. It was pretty windy, and as we have all of the four phones on a stand, they tend to sometimes shake in vigorous weather conditions. Next, we set all of the devices to the highest frame rate with the highest resolution possible. This was 240 frames per second on all devices apart from Xiaomi, which can shoot up to 480 frames per second. Well, technically it can shoot up to 1920 frames per second, 
but only for a few seconds, so we didn't count this as you cannot shoot a longer video with those settings. Xiaomi is actually looking pretty good. It also has to get an extra point due to its capabilities to shoot at a higher frame rate. As for the rest of the devices, each one has its weaknesses. Vivo looks a tad too blurry, and Honor is also a little bit too bright, but nevertheless, they've all resulted in a decent slow motion video. It's time to test out these zoom capabilities of all of these devices and see who performs best. It's been a while since we've zoomed into our favorite TV tower here in Berlin, so without further ado, let's get zooming! At three times zoom, all of the devices have done a decent job with only minor variations. At five times zoom, Honor, Xiaomi, and Vivo are looking pretty good, and although the galaxy is sharp, the shadows are so lifted with the contrast being super low, making the entire image look dull. At 10 times zoom, if you look closely, the Honor is looking slightly blurry. Xiaomi is underexposed, Vivo's shadows are a bit too heightened, and well, ugh, the galaxy still isn't looking great. I'm not sure why its contrast is just non existent. At 30 times zoom, Xiaomi is actually looking pretty good. Vivo also isn't doing a bad job as it's relatively sharp with good exposure. The Galaxy is definitely sharper than the Honor, but the contrast is still non-existent. At 100 times zoom, Xiaomi is looking pretty great. I'm impressed. Vivo has also produced a pretty solid image. Unfortunately, Samsung is struggling here, and well, tch, Honor is disastrous. Now for some fun, a moon zoom. Because we recently had a full moon and I couldn't help myself, but since the results are basically reliant on software, we won't be counting the points. At 30 times zoom, each moon has a very light halo around it, with honors being the most subtle. Well, at least on a computer screen, but it may vary on every device. Vivo and Xiaomi have a more earthy, warmer tone, whereas Samsung and Honor have a cooler gray tone. At 100 times zoom, Vivo does have the clearest result, however it has a very harsh outline, which makes it super obvious that the image isn't real. The galaxy is also looking relatively clear, however the halo around the moon has massively increased. Time for some macro shots. These always fascinate me. Let's take a look at the results. In this first photo, all of the devices have done a pretty great job, with Vivo and Honor particularly sticking out. The texture and details are looking so good, and apart from the Galaxy's framing being slightly wider, it also looks very nice and sharp. Unfortunately, Xiaomi seems a tad blurry, but other than that, the photo is totally usable. In the next macro photo, apart from slight color variations, Samsung, Honor, and Vivo have all captured a very detailed and textured shot that is looking super sharp. Xiaomi seems to be a little bit blurry once again, which is a bummer. Finally, in this last photo, Vivo seems to have the sharpest and most detailed image, with good color accuracy, as does the Galaxy. The Honor and Xiaomi have also done okay, but Honor's colors are slightly off and Xiaomi isn't as sharp as the others, which just seems to be a reoccurring issue. Finally, let's take a look at a mixture of low light and night photos and see which one of these performs the best. In this first photo, all of the devices have performed really well, and I'm really loving these shots. The Galaxy has a very detailed and sharp look with cooler tones, Honor has very high contrast and warm tones, Xiaomi has gone down a cinematic route with lower contrast, a smooth look, and an overall warm feel. Vivo also looks nice and sharp with a cooler tone. Definitely a draw here as all photos are usable and it comes down to personal preference, as always. Indoors under low light, Honor has definitely left a good impression. It has managed to balance all aspects aspects very well with good color accuracy, nice exposure, and a fair amount of contrast. Although we are shooting in vibrant mode, Xiaomi's colors are looking relatively muted and somewhat dull, but on the other hand, Vivo is the one looking a bit too vibrant and slightly unrealistic. These two will need to tie, as in the end, it really depends on what you prefer as an individual. Unfortunately, Samsung's shadows are far too lifted, with the contrast being too low, and it's giving the entire image a very lackluster feel. Next, we have a street view, and again, all of these images are 100% usable, and each device has its own unique feel. The Galaxy once again has a very sharp and cool toned feel, Honor leans towards a warmer tone with deep contrast, Xiaomi gives off a cinematic feel with low contrast and a warm hue, and Vivo is somewhere in between Honor and Xiaomi with a warm feel and its contrast being midway. So let's take a look at some ultrawide photos. In this first one, all of the devices have performed pretty similarly with only slight variations in color and sharpness, as well as Vivo's framing being slightly tighter. The Galaxy has also 
manage to give off the best color accuracy. Outdoors is going to have to be a tie between the Galaxy and Honor, and this will depend on if you prefer cooler or warmer images. Both have produced good results, providing a lot of details specifically in the sky. Just look at how great those clouds are looking. Xiaomi's photo is extremely cinematic, and some may prefer this look, but the high amount of smoothness is leaving it looking kind of blurry. It's also struggling to control the street lamp above, giving it an overexposed look. Vivo has a very green undertone, which isn't ideal, and its framing isn't as wide as the others. In portrait mode, Honor is killing it once again. From great sharpness to nice saturation, it has produced a very nice photo. The edge detection also looks flawless. When it comes to Xiaomi and Vivo, both have good photos, with Xiaomi having a smoother, more cinematic vibe, while Vivo has slightly more exposure and is sharper. Both of them also have pretty decent edge detection. Unfortunately for the Galaxy, its edge detection isn't the best, and the image lacks contrast. In this second portrait photo, I'm still going to have to stick with Honor for the same reasons as before. Xiaomi and Vivo are looking quite similar with slight color variations, and both are having some difficulties with edge detection, particularly Vivo. Galaxy's photo isn't terrible, but it's the only device that completely disregarded the shadows and oversaturated the photo. Moving on to night videos, and in this first one, none of the devices are looking good, but Xiaomi is particularly dark. I purposely I purposely went to a very dark area just to see how each device would handle the scenario, and clearly all of them struggled equally, with Vivo having the highest exposure. In ultrawide video, we have a little more light present, but again, the conditions are very dark, and it looks like Samsung has managed best to expose the video enough without creating an insane amount of noise, which is what's happened with Vivo. Although its video has the highest exposure of all, it is extremely noisy, which ruins the overall video quality. Honor and Xiaomi have both remained pretty dark, however, the noise has been controlled pretty well. So finally, let's summarize each category and see who the winners are. For standard photos, it's a draw between Vivo and Honor, followed by Xiaomi, and in last place comes the Galaxy. Next, we have ultra-wide photos, where Vivo takes first place, followed closely by the Galaxy in second place, Honor in third place, and finally Xiaomi in last place. In portrait mode, Vivo takes the win once again, then comes Honor, followed by the Galaxy, and unfortunately Xiaomi has ended up in last place yet again. However, in videos using the back cameras, the Galaxy and Xiaomi tie in first place, with Vivo and Honor tying in second place. When it comes to stabilization, Xiaomi comes in first place with a tie in second place between the Galaxy and Honor. Unfortunately, Vivo's stabilization abilities just aren't that great, leaving it in last place. For front camera photos and videos, the Galaxy and Honor tie in first place, with Vivo coming in second place and Xiaomi in last place. But when it comes to audio, Xiaomi actually takes first place, as its mics are pretty great. The Galaxy and Honor tie in second place, which leaves Vivo in last place. Xiaomi wins the zoom category, which makes sense as it can zoom all the way up to 120 times, which is impressive. Vivo takes second place with just one point less, followed by the Galaxy in third place, and Honor in last place. Slow-mo also goes to Xiaomi and the Galaxy tying in first place due to their unique features. Vivo takes second place, leaving Honor in last place. In macro photos, Vivo comes in first place with the Galaxy and Honor tying in second place and Xiaomi coming in last place. Finally, in night photos and videos, Honor takes first place with the Galaxy in second place, which ties Xiaomi and Vivo in last place. So that pretty much sums up these four different phones when battled against each other. We assume that a lot of you will want to see Xiaomi operating in its authentic mode. Therefore, we are currently working on a video where we actually test out vibrant and authentic mode against each other to show you the detailed differences. So make sure to subscribe and follow along to see our upcoming videos. We hope that you found this review useful and we would love to hear your thoughts. Which phone would you choose? Let us know in the comments down below. Direct links to all of the devices mentioned in this video can be found in the description. And as always, give this video a big like if you enjoyed it and make sure to follow us on our Instagram for daily updates on our processes and upcoming videos. We're also almost at 200K, guys. Make sure to keep following and stay tuned for a big surprise. With that being said, we will see you in the next video. And until then, take care.